Hi, welcome to Linux channel. So this is not something which I ever cover in this channel, but I was quite intrigued uh, ever since I got this uh, uh, toy a while ago for my uh, daughter. Uh, this is a sort of you know double-sided uh, inertia car, and uh, the way it works is you can just push on either direction. As you can see, it stores you know the energy, and then it just you know propels forward and this is purely mechanical and uh, it is not going to have any sort of you know uh, capacitors and stuff so it is going to be having some sort of flywheel and uh, you know that is going to you know uh, sustain this inertia and going to you know propel this car and you can you know choose either direction you can see there it just works fine and whenever it touches any bump or any you know edges it tends to uh, sort of you know climb up and trip over back and it will going to go back so this happens uh, once in a while whenever it touches any wall uh, or any sort of sideboard and then it you know tend to climb up and then flips it back and comes back actually so that's what it is so hence it's very interesting toy but i was quite curious uh, that what it may contain and you can find this uh, quite uh, often in amazon uh, hope you can see here you get all sorts of sizes so this is something is neither big or small so i thought let me just open this and see and then i thought let me even do a video record because we never know what interesting we may find uh, something in a toy like this so let me just quickly open this so it got some uh, couple of screws one of them is missing over here this uh, initially she didn't like uh, she is not a kid who likes you know, cars much but uh, these days uh, she likes this toy a lot and uh, she tends to you know play this way and uh, she likes some sort of you know the resistance it gives even just doing this to and fro motion actually. So that's what uh, I felt. Uh, it's quite interesting. I never seen something like this in my childhood. Okay, so you can see there. Uh, this looks like something you know painted. It's not. I mean, sorry, like printed on this plastic shell. And uh, yeah, this looks like the mechanism. And we can see there. Uh, this is the flywheel. Okay, and I think this is what uh, you know stores the energy. And uh, with you know set of gears. It kind of engages and disengages. Uh, so if I turn this wheel in one particular direction, now there is no way it is connecting to this flywheel. But the moment I do this, sometimes it just latches to this flywheel. Okay, but then this front wheel uh, or this axle, uh, you know, uh, stuff, the entire axle, this backside, it most of the times, uh, you know, latches to this you know flywheel so you can see there this kind of latches it feels very weird since it is you know connecting uh, i mean it is latching to this flywheel it adds this you know resistance the moment you tend to turn it just adds this resistance and uh, the moment you just let go it you know uh, you know uh, rotates due to that you know stored inertia so same thing is not always happens with this you know front wheel it sometimes latches and sometimes it let go uh, it could be the reason that uh, you know when you turn this black back wheel it somewhat momentarily latches this front wheel and uh, something like that but i can see something it is different between this wheel and this wheel i'm not sure this is the case with all these toys or just this toy is you know done this way but other than that if you you know uh, see this mechanism it overall looks uh, you know somewhat symmetrical or identical and uh, one thing you can also do is so suppose if you do this way it doesn't you know you can see there it is not rotating this wheel although it tends to have a general inertia it's not coming from this flywheel it itself is uh, since each of this uh, you know axle and tires have some weight to it it you know kind of does this but it is not latching to this main flywheel but the moment you do with the back wheels you can see there it tends to rotate this front wheels also and in case if you add any resistance to this front wheel it immediately tends to 
you know uh, apply some sort of braking effect so you can see that i can do this but i can stop you know by holding this and and this is what actually makes this toy quite interesting and fun to play you can see that right you can see that you can just do this and it just you know comes to halt if you are curious you can also buy and um, uh, gift it to your kids you can get a little bit of big ones also of around this size and big tires and stuff i was skeptical i'm not sure whether she plays or not because she is somewhat picky with her toys so i thought uh, this is quite interesting if she doesn't play i thought uh, i can have fun with this sort of a toy on my desk actually so you can see there uh, it just you know goes with this inertia you know it it does this and uh, since it is too grippy you can have any obstacles it tends to climb over the thing so if you if you just you know push it towards this it tends to climb over things actually so it is too grippy this wheels are quite grippy and uh, the as it ages it may tend to fall off small bits and pieces of this silicone rubber so you need to be quite careful when you give it to any kids they may tend to bite even my daughter used to bite long back now she stopped and i can see some few marks on these tires actually so this is what it is uh, i was quite you know intrigued for a long time i thought let me just open and then i thought uh, let me do a video record so hope you find it interesting so be in touch stay tuned have a nice day bye bye